Hello, this is Daniel March, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a review for episode 2 of season 2 of Z Nation, White Light. So before I begin, though, 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already. Stop the video, go check it out, and then come back here and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so ten seconds are up. So for those who have yet to actually who have yet to actually watch the episode in Hamilton already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me. Then never give you fair warning because as usual I did. So as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate. Um, so yeah, basically going off the previous episode, people are still trying to go for Murphy, and it's basically a shootout. Basically, it's an all an all out um shootout of versus survivors versus survivors. Um, people are killing each other, trying to get Murphy. You have bounty hunters on bounty hunters, you know. Um, 10K is temporary, temporarily deaf for, like, half the episode. Um, Doc has a near-death experience until he stabs some guy in the throat. Um, Warren, Warren Etta, Warren, whatever her name was, possibly may get a new relationship. And, you know, Murphy and Cassandra are captured and Matt is dead, or Mac, whatever you want to call him. So yeah, first off, the best part about the episode, the shootout. Like every, it's basically like an all-out shootout. Like if you ever played like Call of Duty, zombie or whatever. Like if you have like zombies and then people shooting at each other, that's like one of the best things ever. Um, yeah, like you could you get killed by a gun, by bullets or by zombies. Like there's this one scene where this lady, I guess she, I I don't know. I guess he shoots Murphy with a shotgun, and I guess since Murphy is part zombie, he's he doesn't feel pain anymore. I guess by that logic, whatever. So she's she gets out of her minivan and is about to tie him up, and then Cassandra comes out of nowhere and just bites the living shit out of her. So that was pretty cool. Um, next up, Mac dies. Uh, about fucking time. He was yeah. Mac is Abby's boyfriend, Addie, Abby, whatever the fuck her name was. Um. I fucking hated Mac, so he's he's the T dog of Z Nation. That's why I put him. Mac is the T dog of Z Nation, and the one episode where he got development was the bullshit Inception episode. And since that was all a dream, hence he got no development. Okay, so the one episode where he did get development was all a dream. So in theory, he never got any development. Okay. Aside from the fact that yes, they're dating, you know, he's dating Abby, um, and the fact that he gets jealous extremely easily, there really wasn't much of the character. He was T Dog, a white T Dog. Um, yeah, I mean T Dog, he got no development either, um, in The Walking Dead, and the only piece of development he ever did get was like the like the episode right after he died. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, bye bye Mac, happy you're gone. Bye. I have nothing against. I have nothing against the actor. I just have you know, My problem is the way they portrayed Mac. You know, no development. Um, and it's not like The Walking Dead where you kind of pass it off. Um, pass it off. I guess because T Dog, you could you could you could pass it off to some extent. But here, Mac, it's a it's when you it's the quality isn't that good. So you need to have at least some characters you can. You have to you have to have characters you could you could relate to and you could like. And you know, care for. And Mac is not really a character you could care for. I mean, you have Addie, you could care for her. She's she has decent development. Um, hell, even Murphy, the most unrelatable person in that whole show, is probably the most ca um cared for person in that in that fans like. So yeah. Um, and then you have Mac. Okay, so what else? Um, again, it's just it's just a zombie shootout. Um, Doc has his like. Out of body experience is like near death out of body experience, and that fight kind of reminded me of um Rekka versus the governor, and just in the sense how it was, um, I I was literally expecting Ten K to come up with, with like a sword or whatever, um right be um to save Doc um at some point, and it kind of did happen. I mean, not not really, but kind of did. Like like eventually Doc manages to get like a blade. I think it was like scissors or something. And just like stab the guy in the neck. That was pretty funny. Um, you got some pretty cool, uh, cool kill shots. And I mean, when it's, when it's just a shootout, it's just a bunch of kill shots. Um, definitely one of the best episodes of Z Nation thus far. I mean, it's just pure action, 
Yeah, I mean, again, the show is not, it's not a show you could take seriously. I mean, you can't take it seriously at all. I mean, there's, I mean, so inconsistent that even from, like, in one episode, you would have fast zombies, and the next one, you'd have slow zombies, okay? It's so inconsistent, okay? So, yeah, but in a sense, that's the good part about it, the fact that it's so inconsistent and unpredictable. Z, you know, Z Nation's so unpredictable, you don't know who they're going to kill off next, and... You know, despite the fact that I wanted them to kill, I've been wanting them to kill Mac for such a long time. I didn't, I didn't actually think they'd do it um, until they actually did. And I'm not gonna, I, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna say I was like kind of sad when he died because I was like, I was like actually uh, fucking finally. But like his death was also pretty funny in my opinion because he just gets ripped apart because he's in this like stairway hallway type of thing. He's like in the stairway. Um, Addy, they're like. It's like he's, he's at a stairway. Um, he's surrounded by zombies. Addy's he's trying to break the chain, um, from the door. And when he does, when she does break the chain, she she sees Mac. Um, he's kind of crying, blood dripping out of his um mouth. I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, and then like three seconds later, he's he literally reanimates into a zombie while being eaten alive. Sound like that's fucking hilarious. Like that, that's that's that. Despite the fact that I hate the character, that's pro that's a, that's a really good way to fucking go in this in a show like this. Just be get zombified halfway while you're being eaten the fuck alive. Um. So yeah, I mean that was still pretty. That was a pretty good death, despite the fact um it it, it was for a not so good character. Um. Again, the writing is funny, cheesy, stupid. The acting is t is passable, you know. I mean, what do you expect from Z Nation? What the hell do you expect? It's from the people who made Sharknado. Okay, what what do, what do you expect? Let's, it's made by the Asylum Company. What what the hell do you expect? So yeah, on a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of ten. It's a really high rate for this type of show. An eight out of ten. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below your thoughts on the episode. Have you seen it? And if not, why not? And if you have, what are your thoughts on it? Comment all that down below. Let me know. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.